Hey everyone, and welcome to the second episode of our Road to Release series, where we'll delve into everything worth knowing about Zero Caliber 2, our next VR military shooter featuring full-blown single-player, co-op, and PvP game modes. We talked a bit about Zero Caliber's backstory in the first episode. Feel free to check it out if you haven't seen it already. Throughout the prequel's campaign, we introduced you to a dystopian future where water scarcity has driven the world into chaos. As an elite soldier in a special task force, you fought through tactical missions to combat hostile factions and secure precious resources. The immersive VR experience, combined with realistic combat and strategic gameplay, allowed you to become the hero in a gripping fight for survival. While the game focused on intense firefights and strategic objectives, it set the stage for a deeper exploration of this post-apocalyptic world. Zero Caliber 2 builds on the foundation of its predecessor, taking the immersive VR FPS experience to the next level. We're pushing the boundaries with an unprecedented level of cinematic action, featuring dynamic combat scenarios involving helicopters, planes, trucks, tanks, and other military vehicles. These elements are designed to make each mission feel like a high-stakes, action-packed sequence. The narrative continues in this dystopian future, where you'll step into the boots of Hawk, a sought-after combat veteran, navigating through new and challenging missions. We're delving deeper into the story, exploring more of the factions and their motivations, and the complexities of survival in a chaotic world. Those who've played the prequel might be familiar with Dahlia, who's making a return, playing a pivotal role in the story. Enemy AI will be smarter and more tactical, using turrets, grenades, rocket launchers, and other maneuvers to challenge you from all directions. You'll need to use even more cover and strategic planning to overcome these enhanced threats. We're also expanding your arsenal with explosive weapons, along with more grenade options, so you can blow your way through any and every obstacle the game throws at you. Besides the single-player and co-op campaign, the game will also feature classic PvP game modes as well as advanced modding tools, where you'll be able to make your own maps, full-blown missions, custom weapons, sounds, and character models. Despite the ambitious scope of Zero Caliber 2, we're ensuring it runs smoothly on the Quest 2. You'll experience high-quality graphics and performance without compromising the immersive VR experience. We're committed to delivering stunning, standalone visuals and deeper immersion, with detailed environments and realistic weapon models optimized for the Quest 2 and enhanced on the Quest 3. We talked about release platforms in the previous episode. The game will be released on the MetaQuest 2, 3, and Pro headsets. But we haven't talked about the release date. Currently, Zero Caliber 2 has July as a release window. Originally, we aimed for a May release, but there are plenty of great games coming out this month. July seemed like a better fit. Let's hope the summer heat won't disturb our VR shenanigans. We're currently running a 10% pre-order discount, but wait, there's more. We unfortunately didn't have time to implement an automatic pre-order bonus in the store besides the discount, so we came up with an alternative solution. All you have to do to get your hands on this unique PPSH41 version is pre-order the game and fill out a simple Google form linked in the description. We will email you a code right after release that you can use in the game's lobby to unlock the otherwise unobtainable submachine gun. That's all for this episode, folks. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss future episodes where we'll go into details about Zero Caliber 2's characters, weapons, skins, combat, and sound design.